Hey guys, Takisugi here, here with a kind of new hero on Korean Lost Saga. This is the Running Back Evolution, so I've got it at stage 3 at the moment. No weapon evolution, but it still changed the graphics. Uh, you got the little metal ends there, you got the LS logo on the NFL backdrop, which I hope no one gets sued over, but you know, whatever. So let's check it out here. So I'm going to go off Tujin's notes for this video. Uh, I'll link them in the description for the forum post that he made. So let's check it out. So basic attacks do a little bit more damage. Not too bad right there. You know, that's pretty average for evolution. The whole D's will now travel a little bit farther. I don't know if you can tell that by that distance there, but it's probably true. <laughs> and the whole D will now stun for three seconds. I don't know if that's a nerf or a buff. I would assume it's a buff, though. I think it's a little bit longer, right? I haven't played running back in so long. And your whole D now has a new attack. While you're running, you can press your attack key again, and you will do a little launcher. Um, you can do this at the very beginning or at the very end to get a nice launcher. And depending on how long you hold it, it's going to go farther. So max charge is going to go a lot farther. No drop damage, unfortunately. And uh, quick charge, you can do multiple hits off the quick charge. But, you know, uh, either one of these, you can follow up with the football throw for, you know, two hits usually. Especially off the off the big one like so, like that right there. <laughs> we'll get into that attack a little bit here. So moving on to the dash attacks, dash attack pretty much the same, it hasn't changed from the double knockdown. And to that end, the whole D off the air, you know, right there, does still knock down as well. And so does the dash attack, so just to show you that. Uh, you have a new attack on your dash attack, however. You can now do a second dash attack, and it will, or second press of your dash attack during your dash attack animation. It'll throw a football out. The football will descend downwards, and then it will hit the ground and spike upwards or depending on whatever it hits it'll spike forwards upwards into the sky kind of in strange angles so you can use walls cleverly with this but but probably no one ever will <laughs> that kind of stuff is in the game though uh if you ever want to you know become super amazing at doing strange stuff that's there um, you also have a new hold D dash attack uh, property which will launch someone behind you instead of just simply up into the air now. So this is neat for a side switch kind of situation. You'll still get a nice juggle. I don't know if you can do um, a hold D knock up off of that, but either way, you still get your, uh, you know, you, you still get your juggles. I don't, let me try one juggle here. So one, oh, dropped it, dropped it, dropped it, dropped it. One, two. I don't know if I got enough time for the whole D until the attack. I don't know if I got enough time for that. I'm not going to fool around with it, though. So moving on to the air attack. So you have a new light air attack. Your old air attack is now on hold D. So light air attack, throw a football just like your dash attack animation. And this will go quite a ways, too, just like the dash attack. By the way, I didn't really show you the dash, dash attack range, did I? Look at that. That's crazy. It goes so far. And it probably could bounce off other people and, you know, stun the other people as well. That would be kind of funny. Uh, this goes pretty far as well, but has more of a downward angle. So, you know, you have a certain specific range to this. And uh, it does hit grounded doing this as well. So if you want to get a lucky edge once in a while, um, you know, this could work for that. Uh, so there you go. It's got a kind of a strange knockback to it. Not bad, not bad. And your air hold D is still there. It's just your old. And you can now aim this. This wasn't aimable before. I don't know why it wasn't aimable, but that's pretty useful, actually. I mean, you get a nice knockdown off that. Pretty nice knockback off of that dash attack as well. So not too bad. Not too bad. So let's go ahead and... I guess we can... Yeah, let's check out the deflect now. So now he has a counter attack on his deflect, a la kind of Bruce Lee. Or uh, what was that other character that has it? So this is pretty much his new little setup. He can deflect someone... And then counterattack, like so. You know, the benefit of this, however, is you don't have to go into that counterattack. I mean, the counterattack is very, you know, specific uh, press. You have to press your attack key, unlike, you know, other characters. But see, you get that right there. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice, pretty nice. But he still retains his pretty much old deflect. Weapon skill? Weapon skill apparently hits grounded now, which I had trouble doing anyway. <laughs> Uh, wait for it to charge up here. Wait for it, wait for it. So, uh, it apparently has air use now, too. I thought it had air use before. It says it has ground hit use, but I'm not getting the ground hit. I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe I misinterpreted the notes. No, there is a ground hit, so it will ground hit. I still don't like the skill, though. It leaves you too little control. It doesn't seem... Doesn't seem very good still. It doesn't seem very good. You think they would add like a massive knockback behind that to make it really worth it. 
But nope, nope, they did not. Okay, so let me just review the air, the patch notes here really quickly. Overall damage increase, so that's to all attacks. Old D stun, three seconds, we got that. Direction change, we have, we got that. Extra attack added to hold D. Uh, yeah, this is the new attack right there. Counter attack, we just showed that. Hold D range increase, we talked about that. Weapon skill cooldown decrease, so I guess it recharges a little faster. I didn't mention that. And uh, that seems about it. I think I covered pretty much everything that Tujin listed right there. And I believe that's it from the video I saw as well. So, you know, running back evolution, pretty darn fun. Um, you know, I always thought he was a very interesting character. I thought he, I thought he was vastly underrated. I thought he was actually a good character. Uh, even even nowadays, I think he's okay. I mean, you get that nice little stun, but you know, you get a lot more out of mileage out of his whole D now. It can work out pretty nicely. You get some different options for combos. So if you can, if you want to get someone like over a wall to edge them on a certain map that has walls, or you know, maybe the lightning map with the fences, you now have options to edge pretty easily on him. It's pretty darn nice, and you have ranged options as well. So I mean, you can get an easy, super easy stun with these throws. I mean, in the air, on the ground, it's very easy. He's actually going to be very strong, I believe. Uh, you know, this stuff is pretty crazy. The range on it is just insane. I mean, he can run away, play keep away with his footballs. He can play keep away with his balls. <laughs> so, you know, pretty fun evolution there, guys. Uh, I'm glad they're cranking it up on the evolutions. I was getting a little bit weary of some of the new characters. They get a little bit crazy with them. It's nice to see them go back and make old characters you know stronger again i know you still have to pay for the upgrades but you know that's the cost of development i guess we're not living in the old re 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 reform days <laughs> so thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hope to see you next time game on running back wins the toss touchdown nah he's fumbled he's dead